Hello friends. In this video, you will learn how to resize volume and how to rename Qtree or volume. It is very easy task using Ansible, NetApp, volume and Qtree module. As this is very easy task, so I suggest you to practice it by yourself and only watch this video if you do not succeed. We will use same module what we have used before like na underscore on type underscore q3 and na underscore on type underscore volume before we jump into the coding let's see what is our q3 and volume name is for a change this time i'm using on command system manager so let's check out our volume name you can see we have one two gb volume called ansible test wall zero one let me see what is our Qtree name. I can see my Qtree name here is Ansible Test Vol01. We will change these Qtree name and volume name to a new name. Now, as we know uh, our volume name and Qtree name, so let's jump into the coding. In this video, I have already created the code for you to save some time. We will walk through this code and I will explain you what this code will do. Before I go ahead, I just want to show you some of the parameters of this module na underscore on type underscore qtree using which we will change the qtree name. So once you will go to the documentation of na underscore on type underscore qtree, you will see there is a parameter called form underscore name. We will use this parameter and we will change the name of the Qtree from old name to the new name. So if you will notice there is no change in the in the Qtree uh, playbook and this is the same play, playbook what we have used before to create the Qtree. For, to uh, recognize it easily I have changed the task name from a create Qtree to change Qtree name. So as we know that our Qtree name is Ansible test Qtree 01, I'll go ahead and enter the parameter first from underscore name and this is our current name of the Qtree. I'll change it from Ansible test Qtree to Ansible fraud Q301. So it is expected that this playbook will go ahead and change the Qtree name from Ansible test Q3 to Ansible prod Q3. Rest of the information is going to remain same. One thing which I just want to bring your attention on is state present. So you need to understand that all the time state should be present when you are doing this operation. This operation is not going to work with state absent. Let me save this playbook. Let me run this playbook. So we can see there is one change and I expect that change should be about the Qtree name. So you can see the current Qtree name was Ansible test wall 01, which should be now Ansible prod wall 01. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the uh, Qtree name, which is Ansible prod Qtree 01, and which was before Ansible. Uh, test q301 so now you can see the q3 name has been changed let's uh, try to do the same operation on the volume name where in our case volume is ansible test wall 01 we'll try to change the name of the volume so this is the code what we have used before to create the volume uh, everything is going to remain same. We will uh, remove some of the options out of this. We do not want size, size unit, 
policy default, etc. And in fact, we do not want junction path also. So let me go ahead and remove this information over here. And in fact, I can remove aggregate name also. Now I will enter the same key parameter here from underscore name and that from underscore name is going to be the current name of the volume is Ansible test wall 01 and it's going to be renamed to Ansible prod wall 01. So you can see that I'm using the same module um, state is present which we need to ensure that state should always be present and from name is ansible test wall 01 change the name to ansible prod wall 01 let me save this playbook and let me try to run it You can see uh, one change, which that change should be the change in our volume name. So current volume name is Ansible test wall 01. Let me refresh it. Now you can see the volume name is Ansible prod wall 01. So uh, as you have seen that we have successfully changed the name of the Q-tree and volume. Now let me try to change the size of the volume, which is currently 2 GB. Uh, so we will add another, we will remove this field from name here because we don't need to change the name anymore. We'll enter the parameter called size. We will reduce the size of the volume to 1.5. Let's make it 1 GB. And the size underscore unit is going to be GB. Let me save this playbook. Let me try to run it one more time. So you can see a change equal to one. That means uh, the size should be now one GB. Let me refresh this. So you can see the volume size is now one GB. So uh, it's a very simple uh, uh, playbook. It's a very simple uh, module, which you can use to change the Q3 name and the volume name. So, and all as well as the size. So just uh, practice this uh, thing uh, many times, just try to change it uh, in different units, just try to change it in different size. Uh, you can also try to, to try to change the name by keeping the state as absent and see how it behaves. So just uh, practice this uh, many times so that your concept should be clear and keep learning keep sharing and keep watching this video and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.